Thank you, Sandra, and uh, I really, from the deepest of my heart, on behalf of the global supply chain, I welcome you in, uh, in Valz, in our beautiful factory. We are really honored and privileged to have a community like you here. And uh, together uh, with my colleagues, I hope I will present to you and we will convince you as the global supply chain in SCT is a key driver to support the margin expansion and growth that you have been hearing up to now. And uh, this company has been working very hard in the last years to create an end-to-end customer-centric supply chain that uh, all our stakeholders can trust, and can trust in terms of safety, quality, customer service, and the uh, best use of the money that you allocate to us and our customer give to us. I think we have a, a very organic and integrated network of our suppliers, which is an important part of our value creation, from having the right contracts to create innovation and to support new ideas and to give agility in, a, in everything we do. And then uh, logistic and distribution with, for an industry like our industry is becoming a real important uh, competitive advantage and Ilham uh, will share uh, more on this. So the concept I want to pass to you is that this integrated end-to-end -end, uh, supply chain is a full service of the business unit. Everything you will listen today from my colleagues in order to really support and fuel and this grow and ensure that really it makes happen. The, as Magnus said in the introduction, uh, we have done also a lot of work in the footprint, in particular in tissue and uh, in personal care uh, to grow, to make sure that we have uh, the right location, in the, in the right position, with the right technology, with the proximity to customer, and actually, we are very proud to show to you today an example of this factory, which is a multi-business unit factory, where we produce uh, professional hygiene, consumer tissue, inco, and soon we'll also produce feminine. And uh, is an example of how excellence in manufacturing that can support customer proximity. How do we do this? How do we intend really concretely to support this uh, profitable growth in, uh, from a manufacturing supply chain point of view? And these are our four elements that are completely aligned with the SET strategy. First of all, our people, which is the important or most important asset that we have, and uh, we want to position ourselves state-of-the-art in safety, health, and well-being in working in this place, because how I hope you will feel today on the floor. This is, you, you will see today on the floor, this is our culture, our way of working, our people is the best asset of this company and will create all the things that we are doing. So taking care of them is the most important thing to do. Then uh, you will hear from uh, Ilam now very shortly how we, in, we are growing and we are taking care of our customers in terms of uh, customer service, advanced planning, use of digitalization to be the best in supporting this growth. Because the, the, the most important thing that we can do in the supply chain to support SET strategy is to deliver everything that is needed at the right time. And also, I really invite you during the lunch break to go and uh, look at the demonstration of our supply chain hub that we will have avail available for you. I think that will be an interesting experience for you if you go and see. In terms of operation, I really again hope that you will feel now in a uh, in few minutes uh, in our factory that we are really the best in the industry where we are. We implement uh, lean manufacturing as a state of the art with total employee involvement. You, we leverage the digitalization where it makes sense and to really uh, expand uh, and enhance the capability of, uh, of everything we do. And again, uh, we use our sup big supplier base to improve 
all the value we create end to end up to our customers. And the last but not least, and I will have some concrete example where we are mostly proud of is sustainability, how we work with sustainability as a value creator element in the short, mid, and long term. If there is one KPI I want to share with you, I was discussing yesterday at dinner with some of you, as uh, if I would be an analyst, what I would look at a company in terms of uh, excellence is running in safety. Because safety is an indicator where no one can cheat. <laughs> it's really the real long-term indication of uh, how you run your operations. And if you can run a factory with high safety, you are all the other things that run well. If you are not running in excellence, yes, you can boost some KPI, but in the long term, you don't have excellence. And we are extremely proud that in the last uh, few years, we have reduced 62% our incident rates, TRI, and we are really applying and going on the journey to be among the best companies in the world in, in safety and taking care of our people. And this is an indicator really long term on how we introduce, how we apply excellence in our operation. I know that uh, you always ask and you are interested in our estimated future uh, cog saving and uh, the guidance that Frederick and Magnus always give. And of course, we reconfirm that. And I want to give you also the, the insurance and the sense of uh, confidence where they are coming from. Yesterday evening, I also had some questions about productivity. Is only productivity giving this? No, of course, it's not only productivity, but it's an holistic approach of this. First of all, continuously doing footprint optimization. I mean, the world is not standing still. The market dynamic, the geographic condition, a lot of things change, and we are continuously reviewing our footprint optimization on many aspects. Supplier value creation, once again, use our supplier in an holistic way, in an advanced way, and this creates a lot of value. Material rationalization, use our material in the best possible way. The material cost goes up and down, but our competitive advantage is to use it in the best possible way to delight our customer and consumer, with, the, with an optimized use of material, and absolutely, of course, the same is for energy. And uh, use digitalization and automa automation is a pragmatic and practical way to have the right investments to really leverage and create value in, in the short term. Of course, we have uh, also long-term uh, trials and pilots for digitalization, but everything we do with digitalization and automation as to generate value in the short term, and I hope you will see some great examples right now in the factory. And uh, distribution and logistic is really a competitive advantage for us in the future. And for this, I would like uh, Ilam to join me on the, on the stage. Ilam is Vice President of Planning and Logistics. Thank you, Donato. And I would like Ilam, uh, please share with us how, from a planning and logistics, the supply chain uh, will add value to the strategy of the company. Thank you, Donato, and hi, everyone. My name is Ilam Smali. I joined SCT in July 2023, and I will do my best to give you a flavor of what is the role of supply chain in SCT and what we have done in the last few years into being one of the few companies that have been investing into top-notch capabilities in our planning and logistics. And one of the areas that I would like us to spend a few minutes is really around our SCT supply chain hub, which is a competitive advantage and a competitive engine that we have created in Barcelona, so not so far from here. And it's, uh, it's uh, I would say, a hub that has three roles for the company. It is giving us the infrastructure to orchestrate our operation for European footprint and in some cases for our global footprint. And I will give you some examples in a second. It's also a campus where, where we are developing the finest supply chain professional. We know in our reality today, attracting the right talents is a challenge. Attracting the right talents, developing them and retaining them is an even more of a challenge. And today we are very proud that we have 
multiple talents coming from the best companies over the world that decided to join us and to be part of this uh, adventure. The third pillar is really about equipping a city with a supply chain lab where we can test, learn and scale the best technologies to give us optimization efficiencies and competitiveness for the future. What we are doing practically here, and what you see here is a representation of our supply chain. Everything starts with customer needs. You heard Donato talking about that. Our role in supply chain is to ensure that we are unlocking the growth, unlocking the growth in a profitable way everywhere a city decides to play. And we have equipped ourselves with top-notch capabilities in demand planning to be able to generate forecast in a way that it is fast, because when we know the world is moving extremely fast than it was in the past, but it is doing that with the finest technologies. We have what we call mathematical model time series that allow us for more than 40,000 combinations. What is the combination, you will ask? So it is what article we are going to ship or sell from which location to which customer. We have already in place machine learning to do that as well for us, and we do it in an extremely lean organization setup. As we speak, we are finishing supply planning integration. Once we have understood what is the demand to come, it's extremely important to give a signal to our suppliers, to give a signal to our production factories. We are sitting in VALS, and that is one of the factories that we are leveraging the capabilities already from the SCT supply chain hub in Barcelona. Again, we do that, and we are one of the few top tier companies that have been creating this capability. And it gives us a magnificent recipient for AI for GenAI. Everybody is talking about it. What SCT has been doing is to creating the environment and the conditions so when this technology is mature, we can really get the benefit out of it. And last but not least, when it comes to transportation planning, and you will have a flavor uh, on the demo, we have implemented over the last few years a complete digital suite of solutions that gives us already the capability today for more than 60 countries in Europe, and we have the same capabilities in North America to have 95% of our transportation planning that is done touchless, which means that our people are focusing only on 5% of the transportation planning to handle it in an exception mode. And this is, a, I would say, a technology and the capability that is tools that are people capabilities that many of our companies come to learn from us and to understand how we can leverage this approach for their own businesses. All of this has helped us to build the platform that we will be scaling even more by creating critical partnership with our strategic customers and suppliers. We are already testing that and we aim in the years to come in order to really enable the profitable growth to do that even more because everybody, supplier or customers, they all want the same thing. A data-driven supply chain that allows resilience and competitiveness in all times. I know it was fast, but I wanted just to give you a few, uh, few elements of what you could expect from SCT supply chain. You will see more uh, during the demo, and I hand over to Donato to talk a little bit more about sustainability. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ilan. I think a practical uh, proof point and something that we are really proud of uh, is that during COVID time, that some of you remember what COVID was, and during uh, the supply chain uh, disruption years of the last years, we never ever stopped delivering to our customers. We always kept delivering to our customers. This is something that in SCT we are super proud and I think is a proof point that this system is working and will work even better for the future to support what our colleague will present. Then uh, moving uh, to sustainability, which you know is a very important and strategic part of this company. And uh, we believe uh, sustainability will also create a lot of value if we take in the, in the SCT way. And I'm pretty sure you remember that we have committed to reduce 35% in the scope one, two, and also scope three. But also, most uh, important, we are one of the company that we really is going to go to net zero, reinventing uh, this industry and being really the undisputed leader in this industry. Up to now, we have a very good proof point. We have reduced 26% scope one and two and 10% scope three. And uh, you say, practically, 
how we do it, we really work every day on this, and in an integrated way, in the short-term, mid-term, and long-term activities. What I mean short-term, the best sustainable activity is the kilowatt or the energy that we do not consume. So being the best in what we run, being uh, the industry leader uh, evolving from supplier in running our machine and our materials, uh, the minimum waste uh, and maximum utilization is the best we can do every single day, every single minute for the planet and also for the balance sheet. And of course, renewable energy, whatever existing, we, we roll out everywhere where it makes sense, also according to local regulation. Then, uh, in the, and this is what we do every day, every minute, and I hope you will see here too. In the midterm, uh, we are uh, using a lot of uh, alternative material. Uh, we are the first one that used uh, hydrogen uh, in tissue production. We are the first one using geothermal in tissue production. We are the first one with the fossil fuel free tissue mill uh, in Lilla Edet. And we are rolling, down, rolling out this um, everywhere. But what we are doing most is to take uh, a lot of technologies experiment, a lot of technologies that are outside our uh, hygiene area and bring uh, in our area. So out, outside the tissue and the personal care normal industry and bring here, and this creates a lot of value. And then in the long term, something that we are absolutely proud uh, is that we are reinventing this industry with the disruptive breakthrough technology innovation between technology and uh, R&D. One example that on behalf of the company I'm very proud to show, this is something that is unique in the last 3,000 years. This is the first uh, experimental, it's, uh, not so much experimental, it's half industrial machine that we have developed with Foyt that we have announced that produce tissue paper with no water and no gas. You see there is paper here, it's a high quality product, there is not a single drop of water, and there is not a gas pipe here. While you see every tissue mill around the world needs to have uh, huge rivers and huge gas pipes to go in. And this is, uh, for instance, together with the alternative uh, fiber uh, plant that we have in Mannheim, and many other things, is how you can see these companies set to rewrite the future, basically. With this, I welcome uh, the most important person for today, which is Miriam, and she is the, the operational director for Spain and the plant manager for Valtz. So tell us what fantastic and beautiful thing we will see here today. Welcome, everybody. So it's a pleasure to have all you here in Vals. Um, I'm Miriam Wask. I'm operations director in Spain. I have been working in SCT for 24 years. I started as a controller, so uh, finance runs in my blood. After that, I was moved to logistics. Then uh, I took the responsibility in one factory that we have in the north of Spain, in the Navarra area. It's a factory that we bought to Georgia Pacific, and I had the challenge to put the culture of SCT in that factory, and I think that we did well. And after that, I came back here, and I took the, the responsibility of the operations in, in, in Spain. So what is the intent today? So I will, I will try to be as fast as possible because I think that the most interesting part is in the shop floor, okay? But uh, what we are going to see is how we are working in the manufacturing. You see that Ilan was presenting the uh, full supply chain. So here today we are in a, this is small piece of manufacturing. So first, the, the first thing that you are going to see it's the process engineers that are presenting you our process. I think that it's really interesting. You will see that these people is coming from our surrenders. We are working with the universities since years in order to make attractive to the universities and to the schools to be the first choice of the students uh, to come here. You will see that. After this, we are going to explain how we are working in digitalization. I think that you have heard Donato talking a lot about digitalization, but it's a key element because we manage with the digitalization to link the needs 
of the manufacturing, but in order to fit the strategy of the company, the growth that you will see later on. Okay. <laughs> Things of the diet. Um, so it's a key element, and the good thing that you are going to see today, it's tangible what you are going to see. It's not just words, not just the strategies, okay? So uh, you will see afterwards. And the last but not least, that I'm really proud of, it's the culture of this company, it's the idiosyncrasy that we have. That in all the decisions that we are taking, we are putting the business and the people in the center. So you will see how we are working with the people. So how we are making all of them capable. We are an organization that we are running 361 days a year, 24-7. So you can imagine the power that we are building in order to make capable all our organization. We twist the funnel, okay? So everyone is able to take decisions based on data, because everything is digitalized, but also we invest a lot in the capability of that people, okay? So this is what we are going to, uh, to see now, okay? So some logistics. Now you will see outside that we have two buses. So we fulfill uh, these two buses, one after the other. And then you will see one bus that will be Donato, together with Mark, the production responsible. And in the other bus will be myself, uh, together with uh, Paul Davis, the VP of manufacturing. Okay. And also we have some guides in those buses. Please follow the guides, because today we are using different uh, kind of safety rules for this visit, okay? Because we are ensuring that you are not going to touch any machine, because I think that you are not able to run any paper machine, okay? So follow the people in order to be safe. What you will find inside the bus will be a, a vest and a cap, okay, and an audio guide in order to make useful to her everyone doing all the explanations. So what we will do, we will stop in one paper machine, so you will see how we are transforming the bales that you will see here, all these bales, in a model reel of uh, 3,000 kilos. Then we will go to the converting tissue, where we will see how a mother reel is transformed from uh, this mother reel to a bathroom tissue, because it's impossible to store a mother reel of 3,000 tons in our bathrooms, okay? And later on, we will go to the personal care unit, where we will see how we are producing tenapans, okay? While all these process uh, explanations, we will see these strategies. More important things about safety. We must use the hind rail in the, uh, the, hind rail, sorry, in the, in the stairs. There are a lot of stairs in the paper machines, so be safe with that. Then also attention with the trucks and the forklifts, so use, please, the crosswalks. And if you need to answer any call, it's not a problem, but do that in a safe mode. So stop, answer the call, whatever you need, and then and the guide will be together with you and you will uh, join the, 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 the rest of the, of the team, okay? Questions? No? So le let's go then. Let's go.